हेलो नमस्कार एंड आई वॉक टू ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड एस्ट्रोलॉजर एंड गाइड इरफान वंस मोर विथ यू फ्रॉम योर वेरी ओन चैनल एस्ट्रो एश्योरेंस इन द नंबर ऑफ सीरीज दैट वी आर डूइंग वन ऑफ द सीरीज दैट वी आर डूइंग इज अबाउट साइंस वेन दे गो इन टू डिफरेंट हाउसेज वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिजल्ट दे मे ब्रिंग फॉरवर्ड वॉट काइंड ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटीज दे मे ब्रिंग टू अस वॉट आर द प्रोबेबिलिटीज दे ब्रिंग टू अस एंड वॉट आर द मैनिफेस्टेशन वॉट आर द डिनोटेशन so we have so far done from the aries sign until the scorpio sign when they go into 12 different houses what are the results they may bring probabilities they may bring to this houses today we are going to talk about when the sign sagittarius goes into the 12 houses what does it mean now sagittarius is one of my favorite signs because it is also my moon lagna so i find a lot of qualities of sagittarius also within me so it is always fun to talk about sagittarius because that's what they are fun loving adventurous people so when this explorative fun loving adventurous philosophical adventure seeking traveling person then gets into different houses they bring those kind of qualities to those houses but before we go forward a request to you that if you are somebody who is a regular to my channel but if you have not subscribed to my channel yet or if you have found my channel for the first time but if you find that my videos are value adding or this video is also which answers a few questions to you lays clear certain queries in your mind so please help others also be able to access these videos and my channel so that they are also able to answer some queries they are also able to explore some areas of their life through my channel through my videos and this video as well and if you do that if you subscribe to my channel if you like my channel or if you like my videos and share them then youtube then promotes these videos further promotes my channel so if you want to earn some good karma by helping others by just clicking on the button then please do that because then good karma easy karma for you is just a click away now getting into the signs in different houses let's jump right into sagittarius sign in the first house first now when the sagittarius sign goes into the first house so here we are take, talking about somebody who is very explorative who has a strong faith and belief in the philosophy that they have or the values that they have or the religiosity that they have though their religion is more of humanity than in anything else if they are religious if they follow some religion then they tend to not be too attached to that religion there is always a philosophical bent of mind also an explorative bent of mind also to the philosophy to the belief system and so these people are little adventurous also in how they think how they act how they react to certain situations certain people and usually because these people are commitment phobic also so they are not easily committed to one ideology or one faith or belief system because there is a sense of adventure also in them a sense of want to wanting to explore also so similarly in various walks of life also they are very explorative they are not strictly aligned to one philosophy one thought process and hence they are also somebody who are very open to ideas open to thought processes open to goals open to decision making also and hence that is the character that is the personality also that they showcase to the world that's how they come across to others as well and these people generally are very confident and they will not hesitate to pull punches when they want to say something when where they want to take decisions and they have a need for a lot of freedom a lot of space that they need and when they need the space they need the space in almost all walks of life right from in relationship to commitment to working to job to businesses whatever they do they are somebody who will not to be too aligned to something they want to have their space they want to have their freedom and so these people also will generally be known by others as somebody who is very confident but flexible also very humane very kind but very 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 adventurous also maybe not so much committed to one philosophy one thought or even to a religion or even to a relationship but somebody who can be very very helpful to you stand by you when in times of need be a good friend somebody who's also very confident in their philosophy of life and their goals and they are also somebody who be very flexible in goals if they find something is very very value adding so a fun loving and adventurous person very explorative in their belief in their thought systems 
being ready to discuss with you if they feel there is something value adding in what you're putting across what you're suggesting and so overall a person who may be very learned may be seen as an expert himself or herself a guru in the making or guru while in the learning also so a very knowledge oriented person confident risk oriented fun loving adventurous person is the person with the sagittarius sign in the first house for you now when the sagittarius sign goes into the second house what does this mean it means you are now combining the effects of the second house which the manifestation of the sagittarius sign so here the faith and belief system is very very strong firstly the second house is the house of values your beliefs your principles and now the explorative end of faith and belief of sagittarius is got combined with the second house so this is a person who may be born in a certain tradition may be born in a certain value system but is also explorative of those value systems may like to have a discussion at home also may want to have a discussion with parents also uh, why do we do this why can't we do it separately and also wants to have the flexibility in their thought process so when they are born they may be born in a certain value system in a certain belief system but they will find that slowly they will venture away from it because they also have the sense of exploration sense of adventure so they will start being explorative starting from their belief system values principles and so they will find a philosophy of their own an approach to life of their own a belief system of their own a principles and values oriented approach to community to life to goals in their lives to work also this is also a person who is very adventurous in how they earn money so they will not hesitate to take risks also where different jobs may be concerned different opportunities may also be concerned and don't mind traveling from one city to the other also to earn money to seek livelihood so these people may also be risk taking where the spending is concerned and they don't mind spending some money on the fun part the adventure part or to do things that they like to do even indulge in different kinds of foods they may even travel a bit for food so usually these people will be tight in terms of their purse tight doesn't mean they will keep their purse strings tight which means they they will never have a good budget they will always have a tight budget they may not have too much money to be able to spend so somebody who is likes to explore thoughts beliefs philosophies likes to be very flexible in the approach to work in in how they look at their earning potential where they seek their earning potential and somebody who is very explorative adventure seeking also in different modes of life different belief systems where they get their livelihood from how they do their savings so overall somebody who is very family oriented yet is very individual in their own right in how they approach life itself food what they like to do and their earning potential and their livelihood as well and that is the placement of the sagittarius sign in the second house for you now when the sagittarius sign goes into the third house this is an extremely extremely explorative person firstly the third house is the house of effort also self enterprise depending on yourself very independent person what is sagittarius sign sagittarius sign also likes to have their own freedom likes to have their own space so this is a person who to explore may move away from the traditional way of thinking may also move away from how they communicate so these people are somebody who may have developed a communication style over a period of time and in their communication also they will be very uninhibited these people can extremely good at being able to convince people be able to market something and also sometimes can also very forcefully put across their own thought processes their philosophy their way of looking at life their values and systems their belief system so many times people get easily convinced also with these people or at least it's not difficult for these people to be able to convince others however very adventure seeking very fun loving these people don't mind going for short short travels or even long distance travel for short duration of time so people who like their freedom who like their space and hence over a period of time they will always be at the back of the mind why should i work for somebody else why should i work under somebody else so very explorative very good in communication very good in convincing very good at branding themselves reaching out to people 
and if these people get on social media or write blogs they may write blogs about either philosophies or about food or about something fun or adventure seeking travel travel blogs or vlogs also they may these people may write and these people can also be excellent writers even in fiction they can be very good writers and they can be very good at adventure ads also they can be very good at writing and they can be very good at people also and if you give them something to write something very creative where you want to post something these people will be one of the best to be able to put out a thought put out an idea also so people who are very creative who don't mind going the extra distance these people are ones who are able to convince others much easily somebody who wants to do things on their own is extremely independent and will move away if something if something is restraining them and very blunt in their communication if they feel that they are being pushed to the wall and overall a person who is a good friend who can be a good companion who can also be somebody who speaks for you wants to speak for you somebody who is also able to communicate much better with people very explorative in their thoughts and ideas and one of the best people to be able to put their thoughts across either face to face or on social media is the person with the sagittarius sign in the third house for you now when the sagittarius sign goes into the fourth house what is the fourth house the fourth house is your emotions your domestic happiness your mental peace your ability to make assets and now the fun the adventure the space seeking the high belief system somebody but who is very blunt uninhibited in their communication somebody who is commitment phobic but very confident all of these get aligned to the fourth house so this is a person who will also be very fun loving at home very adventure seeking at home and sometimes is so adventurous may also want to take their home along which means uh, to give an example somebody who likes to live out of a caravan you know this you have this van in which you also have a home you have a bed and everything or you have a car to which there is a caravan attached so the at least these people if they don't like that kind of a life or they are not into that life they are not that explorative but in the mind they are like that which means they don't mind taking their home where their heart is they don't mind moving away from the cities they don't mind moving away from the country that they are born in as long as they find something fun something adventurous something good in some other place also and wherever their heart is wherever their emotion is they will go on that track very uninhibited unhindi unhindi people even when they come back home from their work they will want to have their own space they may like to indulge in conversation with the loved ones maybe their partner on different philosophies different approaches to life different different thought processes also but they will also like to have their own freedom their own space when they are at home they will not always like to indulge with somebody they will also like to have their own space where they don't like to be disturbed extremely confident people extremely communicative people extremely fun loving people they are always up to something or the other trying to keep the home environment very very chirpy always light hearted always on their feet always up to something and somebody who will be the first people who will come to you open up their heart open up their emotions also and be able to absorb your emotions also and be able to stand by you if the need comes to that and these people learn over a period of time how to set up their home it is not easy at the start and through the experiences through life's high experiences slowly over a period of time they develop the confidence the commitment to be able to establish the home and to be more grounded so people who will initially maybe first 25 30 years of their life will have a lot of topsy turvy lot of fluidity in their lives and only have a more settled approach in their relationship in their home environment and to home assets itself maybe more in the later 30s and somebody who is overall a good partner a fun loving person a fun loving family person but needing their own space being very very explorative wanting their own sense of freedom and, and sense of fun and adventure are the people with the sagittarius sign in the fourth house now when the sagittarius sign goes into the fifth house they get the sense of adventure fun excitement needing the space that they want and also being very blunt very uninhibited in their approach to the fifth house areas of love romance and the fifth house is also the house which is eighth to the 10th house so this is anyways the house of upheavals or turmoil to work to career and now 
Sagittarius is a sign of fun, adventure, taking risks, being very confident is coming to this. So this is a person who may not hesitate to make the change to their jobs, make the change to the role that they are playing, make a change to the team because now they feel they are getting more out of that role, they are getting more out of the value add that they are able to do the organization to the department as well. So these people will be ones who are not averse to change in roles, in work, in career. Same thing in the sense of romance also. Because they are very fun loving, they may get into a romance very easily or they fall in love very easily, but they may fall out of love also very easily. Sometimes they don't mind going extra distance for love. And so they travel for love, they travel for romance, which means they will have, they will shed all their inhibitions, all those fences that they have erected, wanting to be with those people who they love, not thinking so much about the other person's belief systems, other person's thought process, other person's sense of purpose of life or their goals in life. However, because they are somebody who like their own values, their own freedoms, own space, sometimes it is difficult to keep them in a relationship for too long. Or the partner is always chasing around these people, wanting these people to be very grounded. So unless they are absolutely confident and they feel that this is the right person for me, initially three or four relationships will go through that, not being confident, not being able to align or get attached to that particular person, not being aligned to the person's thought processes, values, system or the same purpose of life. So these people find that they get settled in the romantic relationship very late. In. Usually they like to settle down in, the, in their life through somebody who they love rather than an arranged marriage or so. However, that relationship also comes late in life after they have gone through a sense of adventure, ups and downs, upheavals in how they look at romantic relations, how they look at career, how they look at their goals in life, how they move around and play with their finances, play with their savings, play with their investments. So a person who will have a sense of fun and adventure through almost half the years of their life trying to find a right relationship, trying to find the right role, trying to find the right job, trying to find the right career, trying to find the right industry. And only when they settle in their mind, eventually settling down to all these and bringing about the stability in love, in romance, in job and in their finances is the person with the Sagittarius sign in the fifth house for you. Now when the Sagittarius sign goes into the sixth house, now you're bringing the sense of adventure, wanting space, commitment phobic person, Somebody who is not ever to change, who believes in change and also somebody who has a sense of adventure, risk taking also and a different philosophy than others generally around them. All these come to the sixth house of serving. So this person's philosophy in serving is humanity. This person will go out of the way to serve others, very extremely humane person, but very, very explorative person also. And they don't like to get into the same rigmarole, the same standard of living day in day out with doing the same thing. They don't mind stability on a day to day basis, but they also like change and regular change. So if for a year or two they find they are relegated to a certain position, same thing, sign in, sound, sign out, day in, day out, they get bored easily. So these people are also looking at differences, changes in the role, in the organization, in the team that they are working in, in the projects that they are working. So a lot of time these people may want to change or they are pushed to change. Sometimes because they, they are not having fun at work, they are not enjoying the work, they are not liking the company that they have around them, the team that they are working with. So it becomes very difficult for them to have a stable career, stable team performances, stable team relationship over a period of time. And so while they are extremely humane, extremely helpful, but also not being easily slated to being in one place for a long period of time, unless their heart and soul appeals to it. So these people will keep exploring. However, because Sagittarius also has the sign of higher learning, so they learn through experiences and over a period of time, they will learn how to be settled in their teams, settled in how they work with people, settle on a day-to-day -day discipline. And so over a period of time, somebody who is giving, who is very thought-provoking, who is serving-oriented, whose mindset is towards humanity, overcomes even his worst enemies through fun, through chatter, being very, very friendly, being very, very helpful. And through that, is able to overcome a lot of challenges, whether at work, whether in medical forces, whether, whether it to its competition, yet humanely serves society 
and believes in that is the person who has the Sagittarius sign in the sixth house for you. Now, when the Sagittarius sign goes into the seventh house, now here you bring in the sense of adventure, fun, exploration, commitment phobic person, and somebody with a lot of confidence, risk taking, and somebody who also believes in laws or traditions getting into the seventh house of partnerships and relationships. So this is a person who is very blunt, who is straightforward in his or her communication. And because they believe in fun, adventure, usually these people may go through a relationship, settled relationship late in life. And they will learn a lot in how to keep a relationship also the hard way. Because they are commitment phobic or they are not able to get into commitment easily. Sometimes the zodiac does not allow them to. So usually they will find that after a few years of dating and romantic liaisons going south and not being able to get the right partner for them, then finding eventually somebody who they can relate to philosophically through how they think also. And it's, this is a person who is open to learning, doesn't mind learning from the partner also yet. But they want the partner to be also open to thought processes, open to different thought processes, open to learning also. So this is a fun person to have in a relationship, always on the feet, always having fun, always trying to do something different, wanting the partner to go along with them on a sense of adventure, adventure we wanting to be an adventure seeking couple, but also wants his or her space in the relationship. So if they find somebody is too being too clingy, somebody is coming on to them too fast, these are the first people who will run away. Because they feel that if they don't have the freedom of choice, they don't have freedom to think, they don't have a freedom to live the way they want, then a committed relationship may not be the one for them. So usually people, these people may not get into a relationship easily, but even when they get into a relationship, even a committed relationship, they will take a few years before they feel settled and before the partner feels settled. Sometimes they will give the partner a feeling on always being on the edge with this person because they never know where this person may also disappear. Disappear doesn't mean going disappearing from their life but also disappearing in terms of what they are doing, what they are indulging in, who they are hanging around with. So sometimes the partner sometimes just trying to catch up with, with these people. Especially if they are not somebody who are able to get along with the partners very well. So somebody who may be initially commitment phobic but very fun loving adventurous person learns to be in a settled relationship over a period of time after going through the rigmaroles, ups and downs of relationship. But once the stability comes to their life, one of the best partners to be in, in a committed relationship is the person with the Sagittarius sign in the 7th house. When the Sagittarius sign goes into the 8th house, this is the person who will bring the fun, the adventure, the change, the sense of needing space to the 8th house. Now the 8th house itself is a house of turbulations, obstacles, ups and downs, suddenness. Sagittarius energies is also fun, adventure. So this is a person who will bring a lot of suddenness to their lives. Or the zodiac brings a lot of suddenness to the lives of these people. So these people will not only have sudden challenges in life, sudden issues, sudden breakdowns, but they will also have this sudden adventure, sudden love affairs, sudden traveling, bouts of suddenness in their life all through their lives. Sudden changes, transformations, upheavals, issues, but also sudden good things come to them. So suddenly they will find that they have fallen in love with somebody even after knowing them for some time. One fine day the bulb will click. I think I want to be with this person. One fine day the bulb will click. I think I want to be in a committed relationship with this person or even marry with this person. So that's how their life is. A life of suddenness, a life of clicking, suddenly something clicking and then wanting to indulge with that. And because it is Sagittarius energies in the 8th house, many times these people also delve into those areas which is off track for many of others. For example, into occult, into tarot card reading, into those learnings which are out of bound for others or the mystical, the mysterious also. So maybe these people also like to watch the paranormal movies or the movies with mystery or movies with a lot of action or the movies with a lot of philosophy and drama. These are not so much of rom-com movie people for you. So people who will never find themselves settled easily, whether in their jobs, whether in the relationship, whether in the city that they are in, whether in the role that they are doing and sometimes moving around many times in their life, sometimes just to feel more grounded. 
but yet having a lot of sense of adventure having a lot of fun in whatever they are doing so these people also can settle in a location very very fast settle in a team very very fast though there is some fear at the back of the mind but they will exude confidence in front of you they will always be smiling they will always be chirpy in the most trying of circumstances and somebody who will stand by you through thick and thin and when they come to you when you are in a problem you will find them always smiling whatever be with the situation in their lives so if these people are not too explorative going on the other side or trying to go toward the other side of the mysterious the mystical wanting to explore much much more than what the zodiac is intent to the, to them and then if they are ready to settle down in life so they'll find that the later part of their life will be completely different type of life that they have lived before in the earlier first half of life and so usually when the friends meet them they'll find that these people have changed over a period of time maybe through learning maybe through experiences with the eighth house also throws it so people are very explorative in their mindset people who have a deep philosophical approach to life deep meaning to of life explore the meaning of life and they will have their purpose of life aligned to that exploration and find settlement in their lives over a period of time generally in their late 30s and somebody who can stand by you through thick and thin one of the best friend that you can have in the time of urgency in the time of need and also in the relationship but maybe later on life is the person with the sagittarius sign in the 8th house now when the sagittarius sign goes into the 9th house this is the kalpurush kundli this is the kalpurush horoscope so 9th house energies and the sagittarius energies they go hand in hand so this is the person who believes in higher learning who believes in expertise is ready to explore his faith and belief doesn't stick to one faith and belief just because he or she is born in that or is been given to by him or given to him by his gurus or by his father respects tradition respects the law but is still explorative of the thought process of the learning and so sometimes may also go beyond his area of faith belief traditions to be able to explore that somebody who believes in higher learning ready to take the experiences from life ready to take the experiences from his qualification and usually this person is a very learned person either through qualifications that the person will acquire through schools or colleges or through life itself so when you talk to this such a person you will usually find them to be very very wise you will find that experience is coming to them in a slow phase wise approach and so the wisdom also comes to you when you meet them in their 20s they will you will find them very very different when you meet them in the 30s very different when you find when you meet them in the in the 40s so people who are very experienced through learning through philosophy through different approach in life through exploration of their belief system traveling making friends across cultures yet being very spiritual very being very humane in their approach to life being very very learned at least in some areas of life and they will like to indulge in philosophical discussion or talk about the areas of their interest very very fun loving adventure seeking many times you find these people may be very well traveled also or willing to travel for work willing to travel for education willing to explore outside lands also beyond their natural boundaries also so some of the most uninhibited people explorative people fun to be with fun to know fun to work with fun to even spend your life with as long as you are also ready to go the long distance that these people are ready to go in the approach to life through the experiences through the high learning and through spirituality and that is when sagittarius sign goes into the 9th house for you now when the sagittarius sign goes into the 10th house this is a person who will bring a lot of fun adventure change commitment phobic to work also so usually these people will be very fun loving at work if they don't find something which they can align their heart to they can relate to their value system relate to then they may not be able to settle in that job be stable in the job for long they want to feel more settled in their work also where the work is also adding a lot of value and also giving them a lot of learning if they feel that they are not growing and growing for them means to be able to know better to be able to learn more to be able to contribute more if they not if they don't get that kind of a feeling then these people are not people who will be who will find themselves settled at work and then they will want to move away their mind wants to move away so such people sometimes generally don't get settled in a job easily they explore different kinds of roles they explore different kinds of 
work they explore different kinds of industries also and sometimes the zodiac throws them into that role because the zodiac has given them the sagittarius energies in the 10th house to explore to move beyond their boundaries of work role designations teams and job and bosses and superiors generally these people are also very open to discussion but very blunt very straight forward in their communication at work these people try to be a little tactical diplomatic but they just can't be sometimes they just blurt out because they feel they need to talk they need to say what comes to them and so these people are either they will be extremely loved by their bosses or sometimes hated by their bosses very seldom will they have a very neutral placement or neutral relationship with their bosses or the powers to be people generally who may also change cities sometimes change countries do their work with different types of industries maybe working at a domestic company sometime working multinational company sometime sometime within the place of birth or country of birth or sometime working across boundaries or with foreign client people of different cultures so somebody who will work on their own conditions own principles own values on terms and unless they are aligned their mind their soul is not aligned to some work and they feel good about their work they keep moving from place to place they keep moving from role to role unless the heart and soul is something into the work that they are doing so people who are easy to work with unless you are rubbing them the wrong way then you are getting into something where the person wants to give back will not hold his or her punches and will be giving it blunt to your face telling you who you are or what they think about you while being a little tactical on that side and that is the kind of person with sagittarius sign in the 10th house now when the sagittarius sign goes into the 11th house this is a person who is very spiritual very humane about the kind of work that they do now because this is a person who likes to have a lot of fun adventure is commitment phobic to the work that they do so usually you will find them slowly grow up into the corporate ladder and usually they will want to work with some people or want to work with some cause or some value which they feel attached to if they are not able to attach themselves to some work they don't believe in the work they are not having fun at work they are not attached to what the work is doing what the industry is doing what the final output is not doing some value add to society at large so if there is no sense of giving back contribution it is difficult for them to be related to or relegated to a certain role relegated to a certain company relegated to a certain cause for a long period of time generally these people get into organization which also them which also give them a sense of belief in the cause believe in the objective believe in what the industry is doing believe in what the company is giving to the large masses people who think about the large masses while they also think about themselves some people who may also be very adventurous in where they seek their relationship from so generally they may start off socially with somebody ending up in a relationship with people and many time these people's romantic liaisons may also come from the social environment maybe from the friend circle generally people who may work with large organizations who they value who they consider something to be value adding to the masses at large may change to or three such companies before they eventually settle down on a certain role which they feel is the most value adding to them where they feel grounded they also feel aligned and attached to that role and usually these people's wishes and desires are also to explore the world move beyond the area of comfort they don't mind being in uncomfortable as long as there is fun there is adventure there is value in what they are doing where they are going and that is the placement of the sagittarius sign in the 11th house now when the sagittarius sign goes into the 12th house what is the sagittarius sign philosophy faith belief higher learning all that is getting attached to the spirituality of the 12th house losses of the 12th house extremes of the 12th house and also the higher and higher themes higher learning of the 12th house so this is a person generally will be extremely explorative of his or her thought processes doesn't mind going the distance doesn't mind delving into the more philosophical this has a this is a person who has many questions of life many questions about the existence many questions about the purpose of life and many time these people may spend their entire life to find that purpose to find meaning in their life and so usually these people can either be extremely fun loving traveling all the time meeting different people living in different cities delving in different kinds of relationship seldom will they be relegated to one city or one place for a long period of time but if they are then the sense of exploration is still going on in their mind they are not extremely comfortable being in a certain city being in a certain job being in a certain organization for decades on end 
these people will be out of a city out of a job out of a team out of a work within years unless they find themselves completely attached to what is the meaning of the work they find it also giving them some higher questions higher purpose of life that they can align themselves to there is also a lot of spiritual satisfaction there is a lot of humaneness humanity attached to what they do and so generally these people also like to do a lot of good through their work and they believe in the highest contribution towards the work and they also like to have a lot of pride in what they're doing and how they're doing and how they're contributing to the world only through higher contribution they also find the spiritual elevation only by doing more for others only by giving more in relationship in work in the cause that they align themselves to they believe that they truly led their life and sometimes the search for meaning search for purpose of life never ends and even on the last few days few hours maybe they're still searching have i really led my life well have i really left a strong legacy behind so generally these people's life is about how they are able to contribute the most even while having their own sense of fun adventure space that they're seeking and generally you'll find these people will do something worthwhile in their life something that they'll give back something that they can truly believe in and then find the purpose of life through the higher learning high experiences that life throws at them teaches them and so when they go through those experiences those ups and downs in life they also want to make better the life of those others who have gone through the same ups and downs through the same turmoil so extremely humane people very very spiritual very very giving always looking at leaving a strong legacy behind doing more for others while having their fun while having their sense of adventure while living their life while wanting to enjoy life the way they want to without any reservation without any inhibition is the person with the sagittarius sign in the 12th house so friend now that we have talked about when sagittarius sign goes into the 12 houses what kind of manifestation denotation possibilities probabilities it throws at you check where your sagittarius sign is what planets are going into that sign where the jupiter plays in the horoscope in which houses it is placed and what dignity it is placed because that flavor that sense of change will also come into their life and try and understand this particular sign with which houses it goes because this is one of the most philosophical most value adding most philosophical most spiritual signs the most wholesome signs of the zodiac so friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me please reach out to me at the link given below till some other time with some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide your fun signing off ciao